Still on health-related issues, efficient health care financing has been described as a core government function that can enable progress towards universal health coverage in any nation. Former Director General, Ministry of Defense Health Implementation Program, retired Major General A.E. Ajemba, said this during the two-year memorial of late Brigadier General Victor Asiat, themed the state of health care financing in Nigeria. Again, correspondent Lois Abbasambo tells us more. The two-year memorial of late Brigadier General Victor Eshet, which was organized by the Abiodun Eshet Initiative for Girls, was very emotional as his widowed wife, Mrs. Abiodun Eshet, narrated her late husband's ordeal, trying to get medical attention, and how it eventually led to his death. In his keynote address, former Director General, Ministry of Defense Health Implementation Program, retired Major General A.E. Ajemba, lamented the massive brain drain in the country and called for proper remuneration for health workers in order to retain them. Given the fact there are only 24,000 doctors available, the current doctor-patient ratio is about 1,000 to 9,000 uh, patients. A stark contrast with WHO recommendation of one doctor with 600 patients. With 280 million people to cater for, Nigeria requires at least 363,000 additional doctors to meet this target. Speaking on the poor financing of health in the country, Mrs. Eshet said millions of health related deaths can be prevented with effective financing of the healthcare sector. It's uh, two years, and the theme of this two years memorial is healthcare financing and the healthcare system in Nigeria to start us of healthcare. That was uh, related to some of the things that we experienced about the shortfall of the healthcare system in this country, where it was rejected from some hospitals because based on the fact that they didn't have enough equipment that could help them survive. So, and that was the whole essence for us to talk about it and to hold key decision makers accountable to see how they can manage healthcare system. And afterwards, we'll be making a call for make our hospital work for people to join the campaign to see how we can revitalize the healthcare system in Nigeria. Also speaking, Country Director Action Aid Nigeria, Mrs. Enne Obi called on Nigerian leaders to deploy the necessary resources to revitalize the healthcare sector. Why should a man like her husband died at the time he died because of issues of healthcare? I think his life is a lesson. His departure is a huge lesson, you know, to the health sector in Nigeria. And we hope that the Nigerian government is listening and will do something very, very strategic and also uh, do an immediate thing to jumpstart the health sector in Nigeria. We, we, it's, a, it's not good to lose a life when you can save it. In order to improve universal health coverage through health financing in the country, Legal and regulatory frameworks need to be revised with strict oversight in order to ensure that funds are used for appropriate purposes. Lois, App Basambu, Aso Television News.